Hello everybody and welcome to the video. So today we are going to talk about an important uh, scholarship that has come out that is the Charpak Lab Scholarship for Indian students. So this particular uh, scholarship is applicable for all those of you who want to do your projects in abroad that is any French institution, any research lab or um, institution in France. You can apply for this scholarship that is here. This is only for students who want to do their summer project or your summer training program. Right. So let's see uh, in detail about this particular scholarship. I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So uh, this particular um, scholarship as we talked about it is uh, applicable only for Indian students and um, this is for uh, anybody who is doing your bachelor's or your master's and you can undertake a training or a research project at a French laboratory or institution during the academic break that is May to July. It is applicable only from May to July that is uh, it will be a two months preferably right and uh, anywhere from May to July you can choose to take this particular scholarship right. So the scholarship what does the scholarship cover what are the benefits of this scholarship. So firstly you will get a monthly stipend of 700 euros for maximum of two months right between May and July. For two months, it could be May and June, it could be June and July. So it's preferably it has to be between May and July, right? So it will be maximum only for two months and it will be provided by Embassy of France in India, right? Now, um, the student, the second benefit that you'll get is the student visa and the etudes in France fee will be waived off. So what is this etudes in France is uh, when you're professor has to take uh, it's a platform where your professor takes your interview right to uh, let you get into the university right so that uh, fee and the student visa fee will be uh, there will be a waiver on the fee right so that is the second benefit that you will get and the scholarship it does not cover the medical it does not cover the medical or travel expenses travel insurance or assistance in finding accommodation right so these are the things that the scholarship does not cover. Now, what is the eligibility to apply for this particular scholarship? So, firstly, uh, the student or the applicant must be residing in India. Secondly, the maximum age um, limit is 30 years, right? The third is that the student must be currently pursuing the bachelor's or their master's, right? In any uh, Indian Institute of Higher Learning. Now, they have to also have an acceptance or an admission letter from the French laboratory or the institution where they are going to do the perform the research, right? So, that is also important. That is uh, the institute where you are going to perform your internship or the research. You should have contacted them before itself and you should get a, uh, you know, acceptance or an admission letter from them, right? So, after this, the duration of the research um, or the internship, it should not be less than one month and it should not exceed two months. If at all it exceeds two months, then the rest of the uh, expenses should be borne by the student themselves, right? Now, the knowledge of fr uh, French language will be an asset, but it is not mandatory, right? So, these are the eligibility criteria if you want to apply for this Charpa Clap uh, scholarship. Next, what is the selection procedure, right? So the selection procedure will be basis of the academic excellence and the consistency and the quality of the candidate's statement of purpose. So you'll be also giving a SOP and the uh, you will be evaluated on the basis of your academic excellence and your SOP, right? Now, the, uh, so there is no particular cutoff that is CGPA or percentage cutoff that is, avail uh, that is present for this particular scholarship. So people People with any uh, CGPA or uh, your percentage can apply for this internship or this scholarship. Now, 
what is the procedure for applying for scholarship the students must first submit their application on the online um, scholarship so this is the online scholarship that you have so if you click on that in this particular link you'll be redirected to this uh, student registration procedure where uh, you will be inputting your name your email id your city gender time zone uh, your uh, ID that is identity proof and all of that you need to update it and then go ahead with your application procedure right now after once you register and you go for your application what are the things that are necessary for you to keep handy before you start applying for this particular uh, scholarship that's what we're going to see first and foremost is your photograph your photograph is necessary it has to be in G jpg format preferably second is the scanned copy of the first page of your passport right with the photo and the expiry date has to be present it has to be mentioned in that particular um, scanned copy next is your cv which has to be maximum only of two pages next is noc from your indian institution that is the institution that you're doing your uh, masters your bachelors currently from you need to get a noc from that particular um, institution so there is a specified format that is given for this NOC. So let us uh, see about this format. So this NOC has to be issued by the institute's letterhead. So in the letterhead, what has to be there is the no objection certificate where your name, right, the institute's name, the semester or the year you're working, you're studying in and the name of the program that you're enrolled in. So all of this has to be there. Along with that, the duration of the um, internship that you're going to do, along with the name of the French institution that you've got the acceptance letter from, right? So all of these must be mentioned in your no objection certificate, right? So moving on, next what else you need a scanned copy of the mark sheet, right? And the degree of your 12th, right? Your 12th, your bachelor's, your master's, all of the mark sheet scanned copy is necessary. Both of completed semesters and the of the ongoing degrees has to be included. Apart from that, if at all you finish the French language certification, right, you can also, uh, you should also give that certificate, a scanned copy of that certificate. Next is also the scanned copy of your admission or the acceptance letter from the French higher institution, uh, higher education institute or the laboratory. So there is a specified format for this uh, particular invitation letter as well. So let us look in detail about this letter. So the letter has to be issued again on the letterhead of the institution. So here, um, the, it, it, this is an acceptance letter. So here your name has to be put and the year and the program that you're presently uh, studying in Indian institution should be put and the name of the institution. And here the name of the la laboratory or the institution where you will be doing your summer internship that is the French laboratory or the institution's name should be put and um, you know here there should be signature of the host institution right so this is the format in which your acceptance or your, or your invitation letter has to be now moving on so that is the format for your invitation letter next if you have finished any uh, internship or if you've done any uh, employment in any other place then the proof of that also should be given then of course the letter of recommendation this is an optional uh, choice if you have any letters of recommendation you can also attach that Right, so all of this has to have, uh, has to be renamed this way, right? So your photograph should be renamed photograph underscore name underscore surname, okay? And your passport should be passport underscore name underscore surname. So all of your, um, you know, documents that you have, it has to be renamed in this form. You can see you have to put underscore and then your name and then your surname as well, right? So all of these should be in the form of either PDF or in the JPEG format. Any other format will not be allowed, okay? Now, apart from this, um, you know, once uh, you you uh, start applying and then you you submit the application, right? You, the, uh, the, the results will be declared and it will be sent to you. You will be contacted via your email, right? So the, there'll be an email that will be sent to you regarding the results. Apart from that, if, if you have to see the timeline, the end date of the application is 13th February, 2023. So before this, um, you know, the end of this uh, uh, date, you should have applied for this particular scholarship or uh, this particular scholarship to pursue your internship if 
before this deadline, you do not have the invitation letter from the French institution, then what you can do is you can uh, send them send them the email uh, conversation that you have. That is, if the, the process is still going on, then you can send the email conversation that is being uh, happening. You can send the email to this particular email ID, right? So that um, so that's what you can do. If at all, you don't have a proper invitation letter before the deadline of this uh, application form right and the results will be declared by the third week of March 2023 so I'm sure this was um, super helpful for everybody out there you've learned about uh, how to apply for this inter uh, for this scholarship what are the different procedures what is the eligibility and uh, how should you go talk to the French institution of the lab and get their invitation letter as well thank you so much and see you all until next video